What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we have a very interesting topic. I want to talk to you about the different type of resistance training and why you girls must include resistance training to your fitness regimen. I'm your host Marina Farouk. Let's get started. So let's first, I want you to understand what I mean by resistance training. And by resistance training, I mean when you put your muscles under some form of resistance, under some form of weight, under some form of challenge. Now it's so important that you ladies do include resistance training in your fitness regimen because your body is not going to change unless you put it under stress. And when your muscles are under stress and when you're pushing a load, that is the only time when you give your body a reason to gain muscle. And it's so important for women to gain muscle that, you know what, I'm just gonna lay it to you straight. If you don't gain muscle, you're not really gonna get tone and shape in your body. So if you're someone who's extremely overweight or you've been obese for a long time, then when you're losing weight, you're gonna see you have lots of loose skin and you know you're not going to really achieve that tone and shape you want with just simple cardio you're going to have to add in resistance training and weight training okay so muscles are a girl's best friend and the only way your muscles are going to grow is if you add resistance in your life if you put your muscles under some form of stress and um and it's not only just weight training. If you look at it, um, your whole life, you will only change once you have stress or once you have some hardship. So it's kind of like that, okay? There are three types of resistance training. Number one, resistant bands. You can exercise with resistant bands and I have a video on resistance band weight training, link below. Number two, free weights such as dumbbells, okay? Dumbbells and kettlebells are your free weights and they're so excellent because you can get a full body workout and they're tremendously useful. So a investment in your dumbbells and kettlebells is actually gonna just give back to your whole life. Number three is of course machine weight. So if you do have access to a gym, then you can go and see that there are so many types of machines that you can use, which is also a good idea to add into your weight training. But you know, if you're not able to go to the gym anytime soon, or you just don't wanna go to the gym, then you know what I would say, don't worry. You can stay at home and you can get a full body workout using resistant bands and your dumbbells and kettlebells only girls. There's a big misconception out there where I hear people saying, oh, you know, if I weight train, I'm going to get bulky like men and I'm going to look manly. It's just not true because you are estrogen dominant human being. You don't have testosterone. So weight training is going to help you burn more calories and give you the tone and shape that you really need. Okay. Weight training has to be your best friend. If you want to get results and hold on to results, weight training has to be it. Okay. My best advice for you how to add resistance bands into your weight training. Resistant bands, how to add resistant bands into your training is simple. If you have a routine, for example, a upper body routine, do that same exercise with your resistant bands and then with dumbbells. What this allows you to do is incorporate all the different types of muscle fibers that you have. This is why um, we actually add resistant band trainings into a really good workout program because you want to call into action all the different types of muscles and IT bands that you have that make you stronger, better, faster, and more powerful and allow you to push more weight. Let me say this one last time, you need to get stronger, okay? And how do you know you're getting stronger is, say you lifted X amount of weight two or three weeks ago. Now that weight seems lighter to you and you can lift heavier. How? How did this happen? Well, you gained a lot of muscle, and this was only possible when you were eating right, you're working out right, and you give your body rest and the nutritional supplements it needs to grow. Once you gain more muscle in your body, you have raised your metabolic rate. And once you raise your metabolic rate, you are able to burn more calories, and as a result, your body says, hey, listen, I have a lot of stored fat. I can use that for energy. And that is how you burn fat when you gain muscle, okay? So if you haven't thought about weight training yet, now is the best time to think about it. Resistant bands and kettlebells are literally the only two things you need to get started, okay? If you are someone who is underweight and you want to increase weight, 
guess how you do that? You gain some healthy muscle and some healthy fat. And that also can only help you if you have a good weight training routine, you're adding in weights, and you're progressively increasing your weights as you train, which is a really big indication that you are gaining muscle. And when you are gaining muscle and eating healthy, you also gain healthy fat. Okay, so you're not gonna just hack on a lot of abdominal fat and be unhealthy and imbalance your hormones, okay? So whether you're underweight, whether you're overweight, whether you're elderly, weight training is literally the solution for everyone, okay? So um, I believe this is all for this video. If you think I left out something, leave me a beautiful comment below. And you know how to reach me on Instagram, on Facebook, and my website, marinafarouk.com. And I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, get in touch with me. This is Marina, peace.